Hey folks, I just wanted to quickly do an overview of my interior door families for Revit. Um, this is something I've been working on for a long time because when I go to do residential architecture, the hardest part is finding doors that jive with each other. If it's not, if I want a door that's not just part of a standard door, like a swinging door or even a bifold door, um, the out-of-the-box Revit doors are not that great. They don't look awesome in 3D if I'm showing a client. And um, if I try to find unique doors like a barn door or something, it, they don't typically fit with the other doors that I've gone out and gotten for free somewhere or have tried to make myself. So I've sat down and made a very consistent set of doors with consistent parameters in a style that looks good in 3D and they all match each other. And so I just want to go over those real quick and show you. Right now, I've got three different styles. Um, over here, there's a traditional set. There's a craftsman style and a kind of a more modern style. And uh, before I talk about the individual doors, I just want to show you real quick how to load them because these doors use type uh, family type catalogs, which means when you go to load them, you'll get a list of the different types family types and you can only you can load only the ones you want so it doesn't bloat your uh, project file so let me show you you go to insert load family and then we'll just browse to my library of doors we'll just go pick a craftsman door and then do a typical swinging door and click open and then you get this huge list of all your different options and this is great because I typically I'm only going to use one height so you can see down the list, here's all the 80 inch doors, 84, 96 inch doors, right? So I'm, for my project, let's say I'm only going to do 80 inch high doors and I'm not going to do anything under 24 and I'll probably stop at 36. So I'm just going to load those into this file and I've already loaded them. So I'm just going to click out of there, but that way it saves you memory. So if you don't load them through that command though, like if I was to, edit the family and then reload it back in, it won't bring up that dialog box. So just remember if you go and edit a family and want to bring it back in, load it uh, using the load family command in the project. Um, the other thing we'll go over real quick is just the standard parameters and maybe I'll show you what these doors look like in floor plan view. Um, they all have their proper symbols. Pocket doors look like pockets, bifold doors look like bifolds, sliding looks like a sliding door, and so on. And then if we look on the second floor, you can see openings look like openings. And they are as clean as I felt like they needed to be and still show the information you want. Some people don't like to show the trim, I personally like the trim there because I really hate it when you go to build a building and the, the door is placed too close to another wall and you can't do your full planned trim around it. So I like to leave the trim on so that I make sure I don't place doors too close to other walls. But if you don't like that, if you click on the door, one of the options is to show the trim. So if you don't want to show that, you can just uncheck those boxes and it disappears. Another instance parameters for these doors is the swing angle. So we can change them to 90 if we like on the swing doors. <clears throat> and then another thing we can do is in 3D, let's find a swing door here. Or the barn door, really any of the doors, uh, you can shut off the hardware if you'd like so that the hardware doesn't show in 3d you can do that here as well with the knob uh, we'll turn that back on then in elevation you can see they've got the proper motion symbols on all of these doors if you don't like to show the motion symbols that is also a parameter that you can uncheck if you don't like the sliding arrow you can take that off Then on the barn doors, if you click a barn door, 
if you'd like to show it open, that's a parameter I have written in there. So uh, you just click that box and then in 3D, it opens the barn door for you. So those are the instance parameters for the doors. Then we have the type parameters, which will open up real quick. You don't have to worry about any categories. The only place I've put parameters are in the materials and finishes, dimensions, and others. So materials and finishes, like you'd expect, you can change the door material, the trim material. If there's glass in the, the door panel, there isn't, you can change the glass, and then the hardware material. Then, uh, then you have the standard dimensions you would expect, width, height, and then the thickness of the door. You can also change where the hardware is on the door, both its height and the offset from the edge of the door. And then you can change the thickness of the trim surrounding the door. Uh, you can change its depth, uh, basic stuff that you would expect you can change. Then under other, you can also pick your door style. So depending on what set of doors, what style of doors you buy, um, I have craftsman, modern, or traditional doors, and then I have a package that includes all of those doors, and then you'd have access to all the door panels, but depending on what you buy changes what options you have here, but there's usually uh, three to four options, sometimes more. And so right now we have it as a three panel craftsman. We can change it to a four panel. Then you can also pick your hardware style. So if you don't want a knob and you want a lever instead, you can change that. Uh, some of the other doors, like this is a swinging door, but um, like the barn door or the bifold doors, instead of knobs, they might have poles instead. So you can change those there. And then you can change your trim. So if you don't like the big craftsman style, maybe you want to do something more standard, just have like a generic vanilla rectangle door trim. You can change that here and then you click OK. And there you go. Now you've got a four panel door with generic trim and a lever instead of uh, what we had before. All right, so that is a real quick overview of my interior doors families. Uh, I hope you really enjoy them. Uh, if you have any questions or something breaks, let me know. I have done as much testing as humanly possible, but I feel like uh, there's always something to break in a family. So if you have any problems, let me know. Also, check out my other families. Um, they correspond in style and parameters and, and all that, so that um, if you buy my other families to go with these, you'll have the same user experience, and they work just as well and have as much logic as these do. So thanks, hope you enjoy.